Hey guys, welcome to another video that was sent to me by Alex. If you don't know who Alex is, he is probably one of the best Mortal Kombat mobile players in the world and he set multiple records and he won multiple contests and today he is doing something incredible. He is attempting to beat the record, the world record on the highest damage in Faction Wars done in one hit. I've attempted to do this uh, in the past. I did it with uh, with classic Liu Kang. I did it with Freddy Krueger. All those characters can do insane damage in one hit. Like we're talking 200,000, 300,000 on their special twos. But I, did I try Ron and Kenshi? I'm pretty sure at some point I tried Ron and Kenshi, but I think I never went above 400,000 or 500... Wait, I think I'm, I might have got close to 600,000. I, I I tried to find the video, but I couldn't find it. Maybe I, if I find it when I, before I start editing this video, I'm gonna include my record so far that I have on, 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 on the single hit damage. I'm gonna put it on the screen, but for now, let's see what Alex did. I think he's using, uh, he's using Ronin Kenshi. So let's see what kind of damage he managed to do. I, I bet it's it splits way higher than any anything I ever had. All right, we got El, we got Ronin Kenshi here, and he has Scorpion and Cyrex. So increasing his attack and critical. So Ronin Kenshi is a good choice for this record because if he blocks the attack, and also there is Quan Chi, so he'll have to do. He has the Tusha definitely to get 300 percent extra damage. Basically, I, I tried this. I'm pretty sure I tried this. You need to hit a resurrected enemy uh, with your like when your wrists are glowing, so that you're gonna get a guaranteed unblockable critical hit. Oh, this is gonna be insane damage. But I'm pretty sure I did this. What makes this, what makes this attempt more special? I, I'm sure there is something. I'm sure there is something. This is not the one. I don't think this is. Oh my god! 577,000. But he did it. He wasn't even resurrected. Wait, what? Did I miss something? I'm sure I missed something. Okay, now he's just gonna block for Ronin Kenshi to regenerate health. I guess, or not. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't need Kotal Khan. He, needs, he just needs Sub Zero. I guess makes sense, right? Makes sense, because I think... Does Ronin Kenshi does increase damage against martial artists? Okay, okay, he's on special too. Come on, you got this. All you, all you need to do is just... Sub-Zero is already resurrected. All you need to do is hit him with special too. You got this, come on. Wait, is there a talent that if everybody dead on your team, you're... Wait, what is he doing? What? He doesn't want to kill it. Whoa! Oh, the broke the the armor break on stun. <gasps> okay, this is it. This is the damage. What? What? One million four hundred thousand. That is like three times higher than my previous record. I feel embarrassed. Okay, I did not think to do it on the on the armor break. Honestly, I totally forgot. Armor break, guys. In case you didn't know, increases the damage that you do. Okay, let's take a look. Definitely Datusha, definitely, uh, what else? Dragon Teeth! What does Dragon Teeth do? Wait, 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 let's take a look at this. This is interesting. Datusha, so you get 25% damage, special 2 boost, 15% damage. This is perfect piece of gear for this record. And 300... Wow, this is... Yeah, pretty useless piece otherwise, but for this particular challenge, it's absolutely perfect. So this increased his the Ronin Kenshin damage absolutely crazy. Let's see what else he uh, what's what does Dragon Teeth do? That's a new one. Okay, Bloody Shock and Armor just for ten that's the only armor that gives you damage boost, so yeah, pretty pretty obvious choice for the armor. Beautiful, beautiful. Show me the dragon teeth. Bloody Voodoo Duel again in the, uh, probably the only accessory that increases damage. And 
basic damage boost. Oh my god, 75% critical hit damage. I didn't even know that. This is so useful for this. You don't really need critical hit chance because you're gonna have a guaranteed critical hit on special 2. So all you need to do is increase damage. This is why it was impossible to do when I was doing this. 75%! That is insane! That makes all the difference. That like almost doubles your damage. That's why I, I, it was impossible for me to do when I tried it back in the day, because we didn't have Dragon Teeth then, because it's a pretty new piece of gear. This is brilliant, this is beautiful. I don't think you can beat this damage. I, is there a way to increase this damage even more? How? Like, armor break, check. What else can we do to take them, make them take more damage? I need to think about it. There must be a way. I'm, I must find a way to beat this damage. Alright, let's take a look at talent tree. There's probably some talent tree uh, things that we are not See, I mean, this one increases attack, obviously. 30% attack. Huge. Amazing. Teams that use one insane uh, character and two, like, weak uh, basic cards that increase the damage is, is very it's very popular, it's very easy to get uh, Faction Wars wins, in case you guys are wondering. Wait, I missed it, what happened? Uh, damage dealt, damage dealt. Damage taken, 2 million! <laughs> oh, that Sub-Zero got wrecked. Alright, are you gonna show talent tree, Alex? There's definitely something in talent tree. Look at the damage by Sporting King. Wait, what are you doing? Wait, did you did you do something? Did you did you find a perfect team for this? What am I missing? Why did you show the gear on the characters? Wait, did it have something to do with increased damage? We did it to sub zero. No, I don't think so. Doesn't really matter for what opponents are wearing. What if you- I know how to increase damage. What if you do the talent that puts a, puts a death mark on, on the character and I put a bunch of those and then do this? Oh, that's gonna be beautiful. That's- do you think it's gonna work? Oh, stunt- stunt take more damage, so... But you can't really- you can't really make them stunned because Kenshi needs to just block their attack unless... Is there something that can stun on block? <gasps> is there a gear that can stun on block? I don't know, I'm just... I need to find a way to make to make more damage. I'm sure there's something you didn't use. Critical damage boost, smart, smart. Unblock unblockable attack damage boost, very smart. No defense. And a teamwork. Yeah. Yeah, Boar Stance. Guys, Boar Stance that was made a difference. The Shield Break, I, I I don't know the numbers. I don't know how much more damage uh, you do with a Shield Break, but it, it made all the difference. That was beautiful damage. Good job, Alex. Go beat other world records in MK Mobile and send me the videos. I'm gonna review them. That was awesome. I, I, I'm gonna do it. Guys, do you have some ideas for fun challenges that I can do so you can try to beat Alex at least in one challenge? Because I don't think he's ever been beaten in a challenge, so yeah. Suggest me your ideas in the comments, and thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and tell me your highest one-hit damage in MK Mobile. Or don't. If you're embarrassed, better don't. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.